is JJ from Once Somerville. Thanks so much for being here. It's great to see you. What you're about to enjoy is some special content created just for you by the Once family. We appreciate the time that the artists have given and we've put a link to their tip jar in the comments below. We've also put a link there to our GoFundMe. This is one of the ways that we're going to get through this time until we can be open and together again. Art and community are our priorities here at once. We really miss you and we can't wait until we can all be back together. Until then, this is our way of holding our community close and continuing to make art. So before you enjoy the show, a couple of notes. The bathrooms are in the back. On the left, no flash photography and as always, no crowd surfing. Enjoy, we'll see you soon. Hi, everybody. It's so nice to see you all. And I'm sorry about those technical difficulties we had at the beginning and just really appreciate everybody's patience now that we have sound back and it sounds great. And I want to welcome Tanya Donnelly and um, Ariel and Rose. And, uh, and so this Sarah, is, a, and, I, and I, Sarah, Sarah's there. I'm sorry, Sarah, forgive me. 
Hi, and um, welcome to you, Parkinson Sisters and Tanya Donnelly. This is a very exciting thing. I'm really tickled that we get to hear this record, and I'm particularly excited to be listening to it together. Um, watching the comments just as they've started to come in has been absolutely thrilling. Just the the love and the companionship that's going on in this virtual room right now is very, very exciting and warm. Um, it's a party. So it's a party. It's a party. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Deborah Schneider just said we need this. I couldn't agree more. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Look at all these happy faces. I love it. Um, so welcome. Thank you for that great Go-Go's cover. That was really terrific. And um, somebody asked a question right away, and I want to get into this a little bit too, but um, this is an amazing collection of songs. Obviously, you worked together to decide what songs you were going to do. And um, I'm curious how this one crossed your radar. Um, somebody asked, did Jane give you the thumbs up on it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so can you talk a little bit about where the motivation came here for, for Automatic? Um, the, uh, Jane did give us the thumbs up in post. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so these were sort of, um, and I think, you know, I kind of obnoxiously came in with the set <laughs> um, <laughs> fire and we did talk about which, you know, which ones were, what was going to work and, and what wasn't, but I think, I feel like we pretty quickly landed on these nine, you know, as being the nine doable ones and, um, and then went immediately into um, pre-production, I guess, at the with the, all together at the um, Parkington's uh, place in Wellfleet. That's a nice place to be. Is that where y'all yeah. are right now? There is there right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice place to be. Yeah. Love it there. Yeah. What a beautiful time for it. Yeah, um, that's where Mike, we did. So we Mike, did all of the pre-production there, and then we recorded everything in Orleans. So the whole thing is a cape, a cape joint. Ah, those pictures, yeah. you can tell with the cape light. It's beautiful. Yeah. So what's the second song? Where do we go from here? Um, what is the second song? <laughs> Dance Me to the End of Love. Dance Me. Yeah. 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 Great. All right. Let's hear it. Dance me to the 
So that was just beautiful. Thanks. Oh, Leonard Cohen. When, right. do, you, do you remember discovering Leonard Cohen? Um, I remember, he, I mean, he was my, he's one of my parents' favorites. So it was from day one, really, <laughs> um, from infancy. Um, I feel like I kind of, I, you know, like what everything, I feel like the Parkingtons can relate to this. We learn a lot from our parents musically. And, um, and then you kind of have to get to a point where you absorb it independently and re find it from your own place. Um, so I would say that was probably in, you know, coming back to him would be in my late twenties in a real, or no, no mid twenties in a real way, you know, that I. You think this is like a rite of passage. Do you think this is a maturity thing that you reject your parents' music, but come back to it because it's good? Um, I don't think I, re I, I mean, yes, yeah, some of it, absolutely. But I think some, some, sometimes it's just a matter of like, you know, of this is, you know, sort of like building on a foundation and put, sure. you know, putting your own, finding your own piece in it. Mm -hmm. um, and that song, that song, oh, it, it really, I saw yeah. somebody else say they just hear that song in their heads all day long. And now I will. Yeah, it's a, just such a it's such an intense song, and it is. Um, yeah, you know that thing where Leonard Cohen. I I love Leonard Cohen's voice. I think we all can agree on that. But your voice in that song is so rich and intense, and oh, such a good yeah. example of how you know you can take it and turn it. And it's just gorgeous. Thanks. Thank I you. feel. I mean, I feel like that one. I you know. I mean, if anyone has been listening to any interviews I've been doing, you know that I've that I'm a little bit um, in love with the sisters. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and this this one, I have to say, this one, just the string when they were doing the strings for this one, every hair, every hair on end, just really. I was really gonna ask. I was gonna beautiful. ask if you guys could talk a little bit. Maybe we'll hear another song. Sorry to cut you off, Tanya. That was no, no, um, please. Rude. I've, I really would love for them to, yeah. Um, I'd love to hear another song and then I'd really like to talk with you guys a little bit about your string process. Sure. All right. So, so we're, gonna, we're gonna come back to string process. So, uh, uh, hey Rose, what's next? Hey, what's next? We got days. Awesome. <laughs> days, those endless days, those sacred days you gave me. I'm thinking of the days. I won't forget a single day, believe me. I bless the light. I bless the light that lights on you, believe me. And though you're gone, you're with me every single Yeah. 
That was amazing. <laughs> Can I just say hey. that, I, that I love, um, I love Rose's piano outro on that is just so cool. You can that definitely was, say uh, that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that was Tanya's idea to do that little, you know, repetition of that, which was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it, I love that. And actually I was, the first question I was gonna ask is who was playing the piano? Rose, that was you? That was Rosie. Rosie. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. So I wanted, I mean, we can, we can put piano into this moment of process conversation. I'm curious, um, first of all, because you grew up together, um, I'm, I'm kind of curious how you came to the instruments you came to. Parkinson. Ooh, Park. <laughs> so both our um, parents are musicians. Our dad's kind of, he plays so many things, but, but he started out on violin, but then he, he obviously plays like guitar and um, tablas and all sorts of instruments. But um, and our mother's a, started out as a classical guitarist and she was a songwriter. I think she played cello for a bit too. But anyways, I think Sarah and I started playing violin when we were little. We were the older of the sisters. So I think it sort of started there, um, practicing yeah. violin together. And uh, everybody played. I, I remember going to kindergarten and being like, what, you don't play violin? What? <laughs> and I, uh, I wanted what? to sit down. So uh, that's how the story goes. That's. You just wanted to sit down. Energy. Yeah. I wanted to sit down. Right. Once you found out that you could sit and play an instrument, you were like, whatever that instrument is, I'm all in. <laughs> Did you wander around in your instrument finding? Did you try a few different things before you settled on your instruments? Or did you just like, did you know this was? Um, I, I think I toyed with playing violin for a couple months. And then I was like, nah. Too much standing. This is hard. Too much standing. I'm going back to the keys. I still feel like I'm wandering a bit, like, you know, picking up instruments and, yeah. <laughs> cool. And so when, um, when you got into starting to record this, uh, maybe I want to save this question for after the next song, but I, I am curious about what your um, kind of uh, the, the development of these songs was. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold that thought. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> and uh, we'll do the next step of process next. And uh, where are we going from here on our wild adventure? My computer okay. keeps saying, right? Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah, and actually on the subject of their dad, he plays on this one, right? Yes. What does yeah. he play? Yeah. Play fiddle. A little play fiddle. fiddle. A little fiddle. Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's hear it. Again, and now my hurricanes have brought down this ocean rain to bathe me again. My ships a sail, can you hear its tender frame screaming from beneath the waves? Screaming from beneath the waves All hands on deck at dawn Sailing to sadder shores Your port in my heavy storms Harbors the
Um, somebody who just posted I can't with the strings on this song and I I just at that moment was having such a similar feeling about that mm. amazing so how many fiddles at the end there how many violins how many oh violins? dear <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think there's like 80 <laughs> there might be a lot. 80 there's a lot of strings on that a yeah we actually talking. Yeah, we st we struggled with the strings on that track mm -hmm. a lot. We we actually re-recorded the strings like yeah. two or three different times. Like, and they were all they're triple tracks, so there was a lot of re-recording yeah. to well, a lot of rewriting. It was a lot of composition work. Both, you know? yeah. But I did like a whole pass, like a bunch of like hours spent, and I played it like super. I thought it needed to be like really symphonic with lots of vibrato, and it. So we like did the whole thing and then listened back, I and mean, it sounded horrible. <laughs> So then we like had to redo it with like kind of a little bit more folkier symphonic sound. I don't know if that makes sense, but like not much vibrato and kind of bringing Maybe it, higher. toning it down. Yeah, exactly. Ocean. It, oh, more <laughs> oceany. Yeah. Well, you get that richness in the multi-track. You don't really need that much uh, yeah. effect on it. Right. That much reverb or yeah. Um, yeah. Schmaltz. It actually yeah. has quite a clean sound for how many, for how many tracks it is. It does. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing. I, I had to go back to that song. I didn't, I didn't know that song, which is weird because I love that band. Yeah. But I think by the time that's like their fourth record, I think I was drifting <laughs> out to ocean. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I love it. And I'll, I went back and was like, wow, how did I miss this song? What a beautiful song. Uh, wow, this is just, it's stunning. And I love how different each one is. And what's next? Next we got, let me roll it. Yes. Sweet. Cool. Awesome. Let me roll it. <laughs> Rolling it. Rolling it. Thank you. 
something I understand You gave me love and in the palm of my hand just want to thank everybody who was singing along that was amazing <laughs> that was swaying <laughs> so yeah. fun. i was like this is a big group sing this is incredible i know i felt like i'd love to unmute everything <laughs> sad thing is it wouldn't work i i know there are some programs that are starting to get towards being able to do that um zoom right now if you all try to sing together it sounds awful <laughs> <laughs> like everything's out of time and Right. But it was just so fun watching everybody sing along with that. And um, mm -hmm. all right, so Wings. Who wants to take that one on? Tanya. <laughs> I mean, they're my, they are 
Maybe, uh, maybe up there, maybe even a little bump over the Beatles for me. I know it's, it's sacrilege. <laughs> I'm looking at shot. I'm looking up. Oh, Paul Smith. I see him shocked. I'm looking at the shocked faces. Um, that's 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 that's. I know, I know, and I'm exaggerating a little bit, but um, I just I loved that record. And I, I too. loved Wings Over America. Wings I Over America not. is what it was. That's what it was. My it was my dad. My dad constantly played that one. And, Life changing. Um, yeah, I love that album. It's the best yep. live maybe ever. I don't know. It's just, I know I'm saying well, What about cheap trick live right What's that? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, uh, that song in particular, I just feel like I love the sort of like, just, I just think it's just this be- amazing love song. It's just so, so. It's an amazing love song. It's got a lot of, um, a lot of Americana to it that, you know, that, um, that, Paul McCartney kind of digging so deeply into American roots stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's I've always heard that song as being a very like an Amer- an Americana song with that English edge to it. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. And it's and I think it's one of his best vocal performances too. And I think it's because he means every single word of it. You know, it's just such a beautiful song. And you know, I like that we chose to keep that. I feel like that little skip at the end it, I think I don't know I feel like we were talking about it in the studio and I, I just feel like that was a happy accident that they decided to keep in you know that they did uh-huh. that they, you know, and so we um replicated that moment yeah. I just love that, <laughs> that I moment. Know. yeah I always good. feel like it was like a like a mishap in the mix, like the tape, like somebody cut it and they just <laughs> like, sweep it, it works, whatever we added a beat. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's like someone tape, tape taping the two inch in the wrong place and it's just like yeah. oh. Yeah. It, works. <laughs> it works. Right? Yeah. Happy accidents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Which makes I definitely things hear like a muscle shoal song uh, sound to it or something <coughs> vibes with it that way but i i for sure do cool i also can i just say like rose's voice it's just like i think it's in the left is it in the left ear i'm hearing it that just the come on yeah <laughs> it's a, i think that that's um hattie's favorite part of the album first of all and also i just like every just <laughs> fills me with joy every time I hear it. It's so beautiful. Love it. <laughs> yeah, Rose, what were you thinking when you did that? You're just like, I hear it. I hear this like, it's kind of yeah. like R&B riff. If you wanted it. I mean, we added in that little piano, like. Thing. Yeah, which is beautiful. Yeah. Just with all felt. So it sounds like when you guys are in, are you, are you planning a lot of it in advance and then adding these little things? Are you kind of feeling it through? Mm-hmm. every Thanks. song's a little different I think too and that one we, I think we were kind of feeling through that one sure right? we did a lot of the a lot of the songs we recorded like the rhythm section live so we started with the drums bass like acoustic guitar um scratch vocal and um you know some and uh kind of built things from there but like the core of the track and was done live for the, the majority and um yeah so it kind of captures the spirit too. Yeah. In and that you way. can play with, the, play with the overdubs. Yeah. yeah. Very um, cool. Where do we go from here? Next. What's next, guys? Kid. Uh, Is it kid? Kid. <laughs> kid. <laughs> Things you never outgrow. Think you 
that lovely moment. <laughs> There's that laugh. Yeah. That was actually, that was Rose. Yeah. My, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. I loved that. It went, it suddenly, like you just walked through the third wall. Fourth yeah. Wall. Fourth wall. Yeah. <laughs> third, fourth wall. I think we sort of, you know, we sort of decided, we had this like, well, let's see how it wants to end its, oh, you know, yeah, just sort of like, let's let it end itself and see what yeah. happens. And, um, and I feel like Rose's laugh was <laughs> the perfect. We just perfect didn't know what we were doing. We were recording it live. <laughs> Um, shout out to, you to Matthias Bossi who played drums and John Evans who played bass and a lot yeah. of like, guitar yeah. Bass on that. Yeah. engineer yeah. and mix too. Um, wow. Yeah, we were playing that <laughs> and none of us knew what was happening <laughs> and we were just like, darn. It kind of worked. It took kind of a little bit of a country swing to it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. No, that's not a dirty word. <laughs> yeah. Did she different. just use the C word? <laughs> oh. If you mean, uh, it's kind of like never ending way. story at the end with the, yeah, Falcor, right? Yeah. There was yeah, a lot I, of. I don't know if anyone else sees that vision, but that, that, that's what I see. Yeah. Well, now that's what I see too. Yeah. Well, yeah. nothing. It's just a never-ending story reference. <laughs> Getting away from the C word. <laughs> Got it. I'm a little slow tonight. <laughs> there was a lot of, um, there was a few people who were commenting during that about um, the perspective of that song, having been a fan at the time and being younger and now hearing it as a parent. Yeah. And how changed it is mm -hmm. well this one was a, yeah this one was actually um uh th this is the only recommendation on the whole album and this was a uh, something or very early on in the um when i first agreed to do this with the american laundromat and i had just gotten in touch with um the sisters and and we were sort of first talking about what the song this would be and i went out to dinner with my friend laura who's um bill janovitz's wife laura st Clair, and and I sort of, I was telling her about the project and she actually came up with the idea for a kid and it was very kind of relevant to what our dinner conversation was focused on for the most part. Um, and I, this is the, you know, I, I, I get tear, I will say that I teared up quite a bit recording this, which is not usual for me, um, at least in recording. I, um, and this one, I think every vocal take I was <laughs> um, so there are some there are, there are some audible tears on this one I think I mean I can hear them I don't know if anybody else can there are a few there are there are a couple of moments when yeah and yeah and I just kept saying yeah John Evans was just like you want to you want to take a break <laughs> want to take a break for a minute <laughs> Uh, issue get back in the booth yeah. <laughs> back in the booth Tanya. yeah it, it it does have a it's the emotion is is palpable yeah it's Very just deep. like such a such a conversation such a real conversation you know great yeah. song yeah okay <laughs> yeah there's a lot yeah. of heart there yeah. Uh, where are we going? What's next? What's next? Different drum. Different drum. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you and I travel to the beat of a different drum.
So honestly, did you just choose that song because of the amazing sounds of the words? I'm not mm -hmm. saying you ain't You ain't pretty. Pretty. That's, I will love that line, yeah. That is the funnest thing to sing. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing line that is. It really is. I ain't uh, saying you ain't pretty. You right? ain't pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I love it's that so song. It's so cutting, isn't it? Yeah. The first time I ever sang that song, I actually sang it with, sang it with um, Boto and some of them are here. I see Megan, what? I see T. Goody. Um, and just, it's always just been one of my favorite, favorite songs. Um, so Mike Nesmith was my favorite monkey. Uh, and just like, Ron, I mean, just also just Ronstadt's, I have to say this one, this is one, and this happened a few times on the album where, you know, I would walk in to, to sing and just feel like, who the hell do I think I am? Like, just, I'm gonna sing after Ronstadt. Like, you know, just sort of like these moments where, I mean, she's pretty, you know, it's funny one of the best singers, absolutely. singers ever and of all time. You when know? you were doing Leonard Cohen, it's like, okay, you can do Leonard Cohen because his songs belong in a lot of mouths. Yes, exactly. But right. Ronstadt is yes. like this sound, this, yep. It, yeah. she she doesn't really belong in it, there's not that many people and it was yeah, but that yeah. was so great and it was so light and fun yeah and chipper yeah. And, and i love the strings on that one and the harmonies on that are just freaking killer excellent it's great we only have two songs left which yeah. bums me out because i want this to go on forever so i'm thinking we'll just start again at the beginning <laughs> <laughs> right we can hang out all night uh -huh. so this is our, our penultimate <laughs> track <laughs> um this one so it's a uh, uh, w no right oh yeah, yeah. Is that right? also, i wanted to give a quick shout out to you to our sister lydia parkinson who yeah played cello yeah. Yeah. Yes. and mom and papa parkinson in the in the room yeah, right now is <laughs> yeah. hey mom and dad <laughs> I long to see the other side of things Hung on the cliff in search of something big I can't look down, I can only retreat Who knows what?
I agree. I see applause. Just yeah. wow. I'm going to clap. I, I love this comment from Jojo. These sounds, these songs sound like they should come out of that jewelry box you had as a kid with the spinning ballerina. Oh, I love oh. it. These songs, you just want to put them in that little box. And oh. Little treasures. They really are. That's such a great description of them because yeah. they really are little twinkly treasures. That was beautiful. That had such a sort of a dreamy, windy sound to it. Yeah, this is one. Yeah. How, how did you find, where did that song come from? Is that another one that you've had in your pocket forever? Yeah, I'm a, I, I mean, I am a huge split end song uh, fan. I'm a huge split end song. I'm a huge, uh, I'm a big split ends fan. And I love that song. I mean, conflicting emotions is probably my, maybe, I don't like, like picking favorites from them, but that may be the most listened, I'll say. And that is my favorite song on that on that album. Which album is it from? Conflicting Emotions. Conflicting emotions. Yeah. Yeah, that song well, made me. That was one that every time still that I listen to it, I tear up. It just gets me. Rose, did you know that song before you went into this recording? I actually didn't. Yeah, I actually didn't know the song. When I first heard it, I was like, where has this been in my life? <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. That's oh a deep God. cut. It's an amazing song. Yeah, it's yeah. this. Yeah, I think this is one that I felt like we were going to um, struggle with, and I think I struggled with it later. But you all sort of, I don't know. I feel like we we sort of remember we we kept kind of bumping this one back, um, yeah. saying that we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that, and then ended up sort of having a facility that we weren't mm -hmm. expecting. There was like you know. Mm -hmm. We kept revisiting it, but the first, but in terms of like laying it down initially and um, the p incredible pizzicata and, you know, that all sort of fell into place, I think, more easily than we thought it was going to. Yeah, there's so, so many amazing elements in that song already that it was just a matter of kind of re, you know, kind of just using them on a different instrument, but we didn't really have to do much in terms of reworking anything. It was just, you know, a, a new voice. Uh -huh. yeah. The arrangement was there, it was talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you talked about pushing it back. What what stayed on the cutting room floor, as they say? Were there yeah. songs that didn't make it in? No, I think by the time we went into the studio, we had a pretty clear idea of which of the of what the batch that we were definitely gonna work on. Um and I think in some ways it's good that we had this sort of economical approach to it because nothing got <laughs> scrapped and it, maybe if we had gone in with 14 some of these we would have mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. you know would have scared us away in a way but we you yeah. know because we didn't have that luxury we we, yeah. we kept revisiting the ones that were <laughs> trickier <laughs> yeah cool all right I'm 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 genuine. I'm not kidding. I'm so sad that this is our last song because we'll just have to ha listen to it again, like tomorrow, <laughs> together yeah. in this big group hug that I'm enjoying. Yeah. So much. And hopefully, do this. Hopefully, do this in you know in the in a in the same space together someday. Yes, that's what I would love. I mean, we will. We will. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going right. to happen. It's going to take some time. We're all gonna have to kind of figure out how to get from here to there, mm -hmm. but but we will. But we, we will. will. We will. People are people are going to play live music in front of other people <laughs> together. It's going yeah. to happen. It is. It is. Yeah. We are. Yeah. It is going to happen. We'll be in the same room again. Yeah, it's true. But I miss everybody. I really do. And um, it's so nice to see faces and yeah. see people singing along. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Miss it a lot. So um, what's our last song, Tanya? You Will Be Loved Again, Mary Margaret O'Hara. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hear it. How could he take you in his arms? Help you free, then leave you free. 
forgotten And is it enough to cry When you're so broken Her cold eyes Tell you you're not welcome She keeps lies But you'll take her back again And is it enough to die When you're so taken out on wings of angels <laughs> very beautiful very very beautiful so so precise yeah that was that when we um that was a I think it was just one day but it it felt like because we kept figuring out how we were going to layer it and then we just all ended up just all going in together which was the smart route is everybody singing? Yeah. 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 And it was it was pretty magical to be honest. It was. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget sitting around the piano as we were like practicing it before we started recording. Yeah. It's one of my favorite memories of the record. Mine too. To just be yeah. in a room together singing. Yeah. And I think we didn't want to be done. We'd be like, let's do another take. Yes, that's what I was just going to say that, Sarah. Like, I felt like when we nailed it and John was like, oh, that, you know, that, you know, like, I think you got it. I was just like, well, I think we can do it a few more. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or all night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So how long ago did you finish tracking this? When were you tracking? Wow. February. Oh. Right? Or February. We did, we did February. sort of like ch little chunks. Um, I think the last the last mix session was right before lockdown down, right? It was like the first weekend in March, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Where, I think it was. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think you are right. Yeah. It was early March, right. first week of March. Yeah. Right before lockdown. Yeah. 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 I'm so glad. I'm so yeah. glad that you, that you did it. I'm so glad you got it in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Yep. Under the wire. <laughs> Under the wire. We didn't know, but yeah. Yeah. We yeah. didn't know it at the time. But. No, no. Yeah. I think we had, done. I think, yeah, that was just the sort of first conversation about what might be coming too. You know, I, we've been like, because I remember John saying, um, sort of saying at the time, this might be our last 
good thing we're doing it now because it might be our last opportunity. And, you know, it, I just felt like, well, that sounds very dire. And, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. I was, at, um, I was at rock camp. I was volunteering at rock camp the week before um, oh, right. the week before everything closed, the weekend before everything closed. Mm -hmm. And I know just what you mean, that feeling like, well, you know, yeah, yeah we, we should all be washing our hands and being more careful, but like, yeah. you know, not knowing what's coming at all. Obviously, I mean, nobody knew what was coming. Yeah. 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 Was that Ladies Rock or one of? The, it was the, Ladies it was Rock. Ladies, yeah, yeah, I was I was coaching at Ladies Rock. Right. The weekend before, so the last show I was at was the Ladies Rock Camp Showcase. Right. Oh, I'm so wow. glad. I'm so grateful that that yeah. happened. Yeah. You know, I got to be there, but it was definitely we already knew mm -hmm. something was coming. It was coming, right? But we didn't. I mean, obviously, we didn't know. I remember um, I issued and at Facebook document to my staff that was like you know wipe down the door handles every 20 minutes and wash your hands and you know if you don't feel well don't come to work and you know and then yeah. three days later we were closed <sighs> boom can i just say that the virtual the once virtual venue though is this platform's incredible and and just you had it up and running <laughs> so fast you just it's just incredible JJ like and all of you the whole staff it's just like yeah just... it's really it's been a big team effort and um you know Jamie and yeah. Bridget who are both here right now have put in huge amounts of time huge yeah. amounts of time trying to figure out what does this mean and how does it work and making it up as we go along and and how um, can we make it feel good like I feel like this one just feels good it feels like a show you know when the 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 shows that I've yeah, seen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That but I still miss your room. And that's what you know, that's why I would love to do this in you know, in the ballroom. And we will. That's what I would love to do. And we will. And yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I absolutely can't. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much. This, really, Thank you. this has been really incredible. Thanks everybody um, for coming. We can I, I think Bridget has this power to unmute everybody for a second, just to just to scream and yell and clap and cheer. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that, Bridget? All right, and then and then we're all gonna say goodbye. Okay. Okay. Or can everyone just unmute themselves? <laughs> I, don't know how oh, I don't know if they can. Yeah, make, yeah, Megan's saying no. No? Oh, we're on chat. We're on. Just like, yay! Yay! Yes! Yay! 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 Great album, great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being everybody. Please. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. I love, I just, there's so, I just want to, there's so many people that want to hug and kiss right now. It's going insane. It is insane. Such a I don't want this to end. Yes. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations. Great album. Yeah. And nobody's leaving. Everybody's I know. No, of course. <laughs> too. I'm gonna stay on the Friday. Hey, hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. Hey, 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 Okay. Say hi, kitty. Hi. Say hi. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Say hi. Oh. Oh. Hi. Yeah, let's all to. Oh, Dean and Hattie. Hey, hi, Hattie. Hi, Hattie. Hi, Hattie. Hi, Hattie. Hi, Hattie. I don't see. Where's my family? <laughs> Hi, Sarah.
Bye. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Five minutes. Hey. Six hurt so much. Hey. Smiling. <laughs> Donnie, give me that cat. You can have all of them right now. <laughs> all of them. Where are the cats? I'm on They're my right way. Here. Show us the cats. They're yeah. right here. Actually, I do want to see the cats. Oh, they're so big. Oh, I think they got really big. Can you hold them up? I'll try. No, no, don't bother them. Don't bother them. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. One. Yeah. Oh, I like the last one. Oh, Shwa. This is the Shwa. Shwa. He's got the belly spots. Yeah. He's got the belly spots. Belly spots are the best. Oh my god. It looks lovely. It's still going on. Yeah. I, I hear my family coming up soon, so I'm going to. Love you, T. Thank you. Love you, T. Miss you. They haven't figured that out. Can you believe so that? So much love. Oh, it's no. good to see you so guys. Everyone can we were hearing a together. lot there. So, there were a lot of voices. Yeah, but did you hear how they were all cutting in and out? Yeah, the Zoom can only keep just one up. It can only, so it can only pick up like one or two mics. No, don't do no, no, hey. it's up here. No, it's up here. It's up here. Sorry, it's up here. Oh, you're gone? Oh. There. You oh, we're still here. <laughs> oh, there's other kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Come in close. Look at. Wait, where? Who's, who else is has, holding kitties up? Anthony's is. Anthony. I have to scroll. I don't know how to do that. Oh. We can't hold up the dock. Little Ted. Say hi, little Ted. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh sorry, I have the headphones on, so no.